Well, good morning. <laughs> it's a Saturday morning and I'm actually on an adventure. It's very exciting. I have managed to get myself up to Derbyshire and I've got a lot of locations that I want to cover and I'm shooting for one day only. <laughs> Crazy, right? But because I've got so many locations, I actually only want to do uh, let me rephrase that. I want to do several videos. So I'm going to create a playlist. It's called Derbyshire. And um, in time, there will be links up here to the playlist. But I'm going to start my journey here at Ramshaw Rocks. Now, I did Ramshaw Rocks on one of my drive through videos quite recently. Drive, shoot what you see but I didn't get the best aspect. I was in kind of a hurry. So I want to take my time and really get the best out of the compositions. So I'm going to do Chrome Hill, uh, Carber Edge, and um, Monsell Head. There's ju just going to be so many different locations that I want to capture. So um, come along with me on this journey to Derbyshire. <laughs> get all my kit ready. And whoop, where are you? Get all my kit ready. I've got. I've, I've had to break out the Heli Hansen jacket, which of course makes me look like I need some exercise. <laughs> so let's get up the hill and see what we can see. So before I actually get up on the rocks, I thought it'd be good to come down here and take a shot of them from ground level. And they look just majestic. And these things go right across this whole vista. Amazing. So let's set up for a shot. It's finding the best location, isn't it? Because I want to capture them. I want to capture them, but I also want to capture those ones. I don't know if I do a pano, do I do two shots? There's going to be a lot of photographs in this little session. I, um, I'm going to do Ramshaw Rocks and Chrome Hill in this video and then Subsequent videos will be just on, on different locations, but you're not going to get it all in one video because it would just be, I don't know, 40 minutes, 45 minutes long. No, we'll break it up into sections. Let me set up, see if we can get something out of this. And weather-wise, it's going to be very changeable. It chucked it down with rain yesterday, but today it's supposed to be windy. <laughs> Lovely. Isn't that majestic? Ramshaw Rock. I'm going to stand up there in a minute, but I just want to take this one shot. So I will go. Don't have to really worry about depth of field here. Just get it pin sharp. There's no wind. I was going to use my tie. Um, that's what I was going to do. I thought to myself, why don't you use your trigger? To take pictures instead of the two second timer so I can just take the shot I mean aperture priority f10 it wants 40th of a second let's just turn that polarizer see if we can brighten it up a bit yeah that's nice <laughs> I said I wasn't going to use the self timer but I'd set it but that's not a bad shot let's get one from over here Zoom right in on the crags. Oh, they're lovely. Jaggedy rocks. 80th of a second at F10. Dick, dick, ding. <laughs> Have a look at them quickly while I go up to the top. So while I had decided to come up to Derbyshire, this is actually Staffordshire. 
<laughs> Look at that. But what I was doing, I was looking online, as you do, because I was um, doing my work and it was quite intense. But as, as usual, I've got YouTube running so that I can, you know, be entertained while I'm doing my data analysis. And I typed in 10 most favorite or, you know, photograph spots of Derbyshire. And a few of them I knew and I've done before. Getting out of breath coming up here. And for good reason. I have to be careful where I'm walking here. <laughs> so I hadn't really planned on the weather. Look at that vista. <sighs> Get my breath back. I hadn't really planned on coming up here, you know, weeks in advance. It really was just a case of turn up. No, lastminute.com is what it was. I just thought, I've, I've got to do it. I've got a weekend free. Get my camera and get the gear. So regardless of what the weather is, I thought I'm just going to get out and do it. Look at that, is that amazing? So from up here, we get a great view of this rolling countryside. Let's stand on this rock. Rocks up the hill. These cracky rocks, look at them on all the hills, right at the tips. Lizzie's Rock, I like to call it. Just majestic. I've got a lake in the background. I've got this fabulous rock. I love this rock. And you've got this outcrop here. You've got the wind blowing, all the things, but in the distance, there is a lake. So I think I'll set up here and take a couple of shots from this angle. Not fancy going right up the top. Can you see it behind me? Look at those rocks at the back there. That's for another day. I've got 11 locations I want to shoot in one day. So I better get cracking, right? Now I have brought my bag rather than sometimes you see me walking around just with the camera on the tripod but I thought I've got to make use of my lenses I've got my telephoto my 70 to 300 Sigma lens and if I want to zoom right in that's the lens for that otherwise it's the trusty 18 18 to 140 on the um, Nikkor lens. So what have I got here that I can take advantage of? Let's reset everything because I had it on ex exposure compensation, etc, etc. I'm going to go into manual mode so that I can control it. I don't really need a wide depth of field, but F16 should give me enough um, coverage for the close quarters. I don't know what setup I'm going to do yet, but I like that shot there. Movie, movie. <laughs> I'm moving everything. I'm right on the edge of this rock here. Look, <laughs> tricky business. Right, what were we doing? Ah, it's good having the mobile phone because I can use that to show you. Dun, dun, dun. So what have I got in the live view? camera's got that lovely vista I love that rock I will forever call it Lizzie's rock because Elizabeth Bennett stands there doesn't she in Pride and Prejudice and the other thing is because I didn't know if it was going to be sunny because it you know all last week and up to about Wednesday we've had this glorious weather and then it rained all the way to the journey but what it's giving me have to give you the live view again because I've got this camera. I'm I'm getting all this amazing cloud as it comes round, and it's bringing out the lush greens as well. Got some overnight campers down there. That's not me. There's my little green car. You could just see it in the distance there. <laughs> 
come on, focus, focus. You're getting distracted. Three shots. <laughs> so I'll get cracking on those shots. I'll display them for you here. And then we're going over to Chrome Hill, a place I've never been to before. I know I'm a wimp, <laughs> but look at the rain, it's chucking it down. <laughs> I'm going to do a couple of handhelds. This is all I've got for Chrome Hill because I'm not going up there in this rain. It's a very majestic mountain just sticking up there. So what I'm going to do is take a couple of handhelds, display them for you. And that will be the end of this video. Hopefully the rain will stop and I will be able to, you know, have better weather for the other locations that I've got planned. What a day! I wonder if this is here all day long. Here's a couple of handhelds from Chrome Hill and <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. You're going to laugh at me. It's day two. I'm going home today and I had to come back here because I did some filming here yesterday for a different video. And when I got back to the chalet or the Airbnb, I noticed that I didn't have the footage, which means I have to come back just to do the five minute segment for my other video. And I'm in Hollingclough, which overlooks Chrome Hill and Park House Hill and the sun because it's blue sky is basking down <laughs> crazy times I'm hand holding because I haven't got the um, tripod maybe I should have brought it out so you can see Park House Hill so I zoom in so I'm going to take a couple of shots of this wait for the sun to come down and include it in the video that I did yesterday where it poured with rain and it'll probably pour with rain again anyway, so yeah, hope you enjoy.